الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us faith, and the faith has come to us through the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam. He is not just a postman that has delivered the faith to us, that has delivered the Holy Quran to us. Rather, his essence is the foundation of our faith. His he being is the foundation of our faith. We say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. He is the messenger. He is the last and final messenger uh, sent by Allah subhanahu wa taala. And the Prophet says La yuminu ahadukum hatta uhibba liyakhihi min waladihi wa walidihi wa nasi yajmain. Or كما قال that the, no one can be a true believer. The faith and iman cannot be complete except the person loves me more than his parents, more than his family members, more than his children, more than everything, anything and everything is below when it comes to the, the person of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. One day Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhim, he came to the Prophet and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I love you. And above and over and above my parents, over and above my children, except my own self. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Umar, your faith is not complete. In other words, they were teaching us a lesson that, you know, it's like we all love ourselves. But the Prophet sallallahu is saying that you know, the love for me needs to be above and beyond everything else. And then Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, he reflected on this for a while. And then he said, Ya Rasulullah, I love you more than anything and everything. And the Prophet Al-an, al-an. Oh, Umar, now your faith has completed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Holy Quran, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ وَعَشِيرَتُكُمْ وَأَمْوَالُ نِقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا وَتِجَارَةٌ تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَهَا وَمَسَاكِنَ تَعْضَوْنَهَا حَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِهِ فَتَرَبَّسُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمِ الْفَاسِقِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh, you say, O Prophet of Allah, to the believers, that if their love for Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is no greater than the love for these things, and Allah mentions a number of things, then they need to wait for the commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see that how the companions, they love the Prophet so much that they gave up their homes, they gave up their family members, they, they, they ran into the battlefields in order to defend the honor of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, how can we show our love to the Prophet by following in his footsteps by telling people what a great benefactor and savior of mankind he is. You know, we need to spread the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to, uh, to others and we need to also instill the love of the Prophet in our family members. The Prophet sallallahu says in one of the hadith, teach your children three things and one of those three things is the love of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as that is the foundation of our faith. We pray that our foundation is strong and we can be in the companionship of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa on the day of judgment. <laughs>